Miss Kinsas, part two. We're here. Carlos, handle their luggage carefu carefully. Wow, this the place has changed a lot over the years. Bienvenidos. In Aunt Ambush, I think I had a heart attack. Suyapa. Cousin, we missed you. Flora, Vicky, and Gladys. You all grew so much. The devil babies, they got big. Suyapa, go greet your abuelita. She's in her room with your mother. Okay. Mom, did you eat yet? I'm not hungry. I'll eat later. S you should eat now. Saida says you've been too weak lately. Hola, bolita. Suyapita, my little star. Why haven't you brushed your hair yet? Why is everyone always commenting on my hair? Because I don't want people to think I raised a wild child. Why don't we let Abuela get some rest? Some more rest. You can put your stuff in the guest room and grab some of your tia's delicious paletas. Buen provecho, mija. Thanks, abuelita. Later. You don't know what how long I've been waiting for this meal. Suyapa, so, sit upright. Girls, don't slouch. Suyapa, so, come dance with us. No, thanks. I'm good. Yeah, Suyapa, go dance. They can teach you if you don't know how. Come on, dance. You're wasting your breath. She hates having fun. See, just leave her. She's boring and weird. I can't believe we're even related. Don't say that. Suyapa, why aren't you dancing? Urgh. Hey, Abuela, what are you watching? Just my soaps. You don't want to dance with your cousins? Eh, I don't like to dance, or rather, I don't know how to dance. Carmen always makes fun of me. If you keep worrying about what people will say about you, you won't be able to live your life to the fullest. You sound just like Mommy. Well, promise me that on my funeral day, you will dance. I want a grand party with my family and friends playing salsa and punta music all night until the roosters crows. Ay, abuelita, for the last time, we're not throwing you a funeral party, especially if you're making me dance at it. You're so weird. Ah! The last doll so that we, where the triplets hit it, those sneaky girls. Oh, those quinceañera dolls, right? I remember when Carmen had one, uh, her quince was kind of pre creepy. What a shame. I want to, to surprise you with this one. So what do you think? It's uh, cute. Right? I knew you would love it. The design on the dress made, was made by you, right? Good eye. I drew the design, and your aunt is helping with the embroidery. My eyes aren't great for small details like these. But don't worry, my little star. The doll will be ready for your quinceañera. I'm surprised your mommy co could convince you to have a quinces after your years of hesitation. You, you always threw a tantrum on that idea. My quinces? Abuelita, I think you're confused. I'm not having one. I told Mommy I didn't want one. Oh, Suyapa, you joker. No, Abuela, I'm serious. What are you talking about? When wha Then why would I receive an invitation to your quinces? Wait a minute. Ricardo y Ana Lucia Gutierrez. this it's a pretty really pretty card you have good taste mommy what is the meaning of this in spanish suyapa in spanish suyapa you have more to practice more 
Forget Spanish. What is this invitation? This is a joke, right? Mommy, please say that that's the case. You sent this to Abuela as a joke. You know, it's a good joke since I'm not actually having a quinceanera. I mean, we all agreed on that last year, right, Mommy? So, yeah, but I was planning on telling you tomorrow when we were all rested. Wait, don't tell me you're throwing me a surprise, quinces. Papi? Well, what the heck? Ay, Suyapa, don't make such a scene. We can talk about this pri in private later. We're in the middle of a celebration. Mommy, who else received this? What's happening? What's she saying? She wants to throw. Who, she wants to know who got to her quinceanera. I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. And I found the perfect dress for it. If I remember correctly, Mommy sent a hundred copies out to the whole family. Well, I'm not going. Que ridiculous. Who was who has heard of a quinceanera not attending her own party? But I didn't want a party to begin with. I well, I specifically told you that I hate big parties. The thought of wearing a weird poofy dress and just is just blech. Many girls don't have the opportunity you have to have a king says, so don't be ungrateful, Suyapa. You're going to that party, and you will be there celebrating with your whole family. Are you crazy? Don't call me crazy. Show some respect. Ya yeah, basta. What's, go What's wrong? What's with all the screaming? <coughs> I'll relax when... I want to. Mama, don't worry. Please go back to your room and relax. Abuelita, I, I didn't want a quinces, but Mommy went behind my back and sent out invitations. She's forcing me to have my own quinces. She's crazy. Crazy? The crazy one is you. I've never heard of a 15-year-old girl who doesn't want a quinces. My little star, why don't you want a quinces? Everything about it. This isn't me, Abuela. I hate dresses, I can't walk in heels, and I just want to throw up thinking about dancing in front of people. I don't like being in the spotlight, and I'm going to make a fool of myself. It's just a big stupid party. Why is it such a big deal if I don't want one? A quinceanera is more than just a stupid party. It's our family tradition. So yeah, Pal. Think of it as an important ceremony. We're all going to celebrate and embrace your journey to womanhood. All the women in our family had quinces. I had one, and so did your tias, your sister, even your abuelita. I didn't know abuelita had one. I did, and I had a blast. But why can't my journey to womanhood be replaced by just cutting the cake here at home and spending a day reading a book in my room? Listen, you only turn 15 once. You'll regret missing this important celebration. So yeah, but please reconsider. She's right. Your mother did what, what, did what she thought was right for you. And when it's over, we'll have so many great memories of your quinces. Don't count on it. It's not fair. I hate that I never get to do anything fun or decide what to do for myself. I, I'm just going to lock myself in my room until summer is over. You're not going to do that. Aha! I have an idea. So, Yepa, you'll be a woman soon. Why don't you both settle this like adults with a compromise? What kind of compromise? Mama, what are you shaming? Suyapa is just as stubborn as you, so you know she won't go to this party you organized unless you give her some motivation to cooperate with you, like a reward of some sort. Hmm, me bringing her into this world be this reward should be rewarding enough. And Lucia, Anna Lucia. Fine, Mama. A reward? What do I want? Camping with my...
with my friends next month. What? No, absolutely not. But that's what I want as my reward. You're crazy to think I should let you or your sisters travel that far on your own. Let me go or I don't do my, or I don't do the king says. Miha. My sweet Anita, I would love to see my little star have her king says. Please do this for Suya Pita. I'll consider it. What? Seriously? But only if you do the keen sass my way. No complaining, no fighting, nothing but accepting my terms. Understood? It means I get to go to camp and then count me in. And it's a pinky, pink princess themed. That's not going to be a problem, right? You're on. You better keep your promise. Chapter 3. How's Abuela feeling today? She's feeling a little bit exhausted from yesterday's excitement. I feel bad about that. You should. And not, no proper lady screams and causes such a ruckus like you. Is there any cereal? No, this is more nutritious. Now eat up. Beans for breakfast? After breakfast, you'll be, you'll all change, you'll all get changed. We're going to drive your Bolita to the city for a doctor's appointment. I need you girls to go shopping with your dad to buy stuff for your princess. I thought this was going to be, this was a vacation. Can't I just go back to sleep? Ugh, clothes shopping. No, your Tia is working, working, and Carlos is in school right now. I can't rely on your dad to buy stop Suyapa from buying books instead of clothes. Suyapa, here's your the list of things you'll need for this, for your ceremony, which is in three weeks. For Suyapa's quince, ceremonial shoes, tiara, flower bouquet, pillow, candles, Bible, and rosary. Last doll. You need to buy two pairs of ceremonial shoes, flats, and heels. Er, heels? To symbolize you changing from a girl to a young woman or whatever. Don't you remember anything from my quince? You're such a space case. That was like a hundred years ago. Get over it. Ricardo, remember heels and flats, no books. Yes, my love. Hurry up and eat your breakfast. El Centro. Poppy, how about these? They're beautiful. I think those sho those are construction boots. Poppy, they're technically flats, right? Interested in those boots? They're heavy duty and very durable. Sorry, Sue. Nice try, nerd. Okay, let's go meet your mother and then head home. Come kiss your boyfriend. Ew, no, it has fleas. Um, why are all my cousins here? Oh, good. I was worried your T.S. would spend, send your cousins over to, for dance rehearsal this week. There's your dramas and jambalines. My dramas and a what now? They're your dance partners for, for the waltz ceremony. I see ya, but don't tell me you forgot. We did it for my quince, remember? Uh, I think I did forget. The quince is separated into four parts. It starts with the church ceremony, which will take place in the small chapel down the road. The second part is the exchange of gifts, followed by the dance routine and finally the part finally the party it's going to be fun carmen is in, in charge of dance rehearsals what why her because i also did my dance routine for my own quince duh 
this is going to be a terrible week. Well, fine. It's not like I have a choice. I'm going to work on my school project. So, yeah, but one more thing. Don't forget to work on your quinceanera spe speech for the candle lighting ceremony. I forgot about the speech. Can't you, you or Poppy talk for me? No, the quinceanera has to use the speech to show appreciation for her family. If, you're, if you need ideas, just ask Carmen. She had one of her quince. Ugh. There's a fee for my con so, consultation services. Ugh. Why is this so hard? Abuela? What's wrong? I can't think of anything to draw for my summer project. Oh. I have to draw a non-fiction comic, like a travel log or an autobiographical work. So, what's the problem? I don't have an interesting life. My friend Sam travels a lot with her family a lot, and they do a bunch of cool things, but our family doesn't do anything. We just hang out with family. What about your keen sip? Can you do a story about that? No, no way. Too embarrassing. Then do one about your amazing abuelita. <laughs> Just kidding. No, that's a great idea. It's perfect. You always tell me the best stories, and you can talk more about your life and as an artist. It'll be really cool. You think so? Well, if you insist, great. And that's one less thing to worry about. Now I have to figure out my pizza speech. Are you having trouble writing it? I don't think I can do it, Tabuela. I suck at p public speaking. I'm not as good at, as it as m Mommy or Carmen. And my Spanish isn't the best. I know the family will make my, fun of my accent. Do you know what the secret confidence is? Here, try it with me. This is a technique I use whenever I feel nervous. It hasn't failed me yet. First thing you do is stand straight, arms back, and chest out. Slowly breathe in. Slowly count to five in your head. Then breathe it through the, your mouth. Wiggle your toes and concentrate on, concentrate on each one. And then say, I am Suyapa Isel Gutierrez. I don't, and I don't give up about the, what people say or think about me. Abuela! Oh, come on, repeat it. I am Suyapa Yisel Gutierrez, and I don't give up about what people say or think about me. Mommy, I told you before, stop teaching Suyapa curse words. Ah, she's such a party pooper. Oh, Abuelita, you got in trouble. <coughs> See, you're not nervous now. <coughs> I still need... It's still, I still think it's an impossible task. Well, from my experience, once you set your mind to something and work hard, you can accomplish anything. That reminds me, there's something for you in the bottom drawer. My hands have been very shaky lately, so, I took, so it took months to finish your present, but I finally did it. Like and subscribe for part three.